Several days ago, this projector was dead. What happened was, uh, bright and early one Monday morning, the doctor turned the projector on and nothing happened. The light didn't go on, uh, didn't respond to the remote control, nothing happened at all. Now, um, when I arrived and I put my ear up next to it, I could hear that there was this humming sound inside the um, projector, but again, it was totally unresponsive. In the prior week, there were some malfunctions uh, that it was masking the uh, chart when it was supposed to be open and it just was acting improper, then uh, a few days later, it didn't work at all. And those are the usual sounds, and then it uh, projects and responds to each of the um, acuity um, slides on the remote controls. I'm pressing it. As it turns out, the problem was a very tiny part. Inside the projector is a uh, circuit board and just to give you a perspective of the size what we're dealing with is this capacitor and if you look you see a little C4 at the top there this is the C4 capacitor and if you look there's a, a bead of solder on the side there and similarly, similarly, it was soldered on this side. And when this capacitor malfunctions, the whole projector shuts down. Uh, all you hear is a little humming sound if you listen carefully. Uh, but it doesn't work at all. And then if you get somebody who's skilled enough in uh, printed circuit uh, soldering, <laughs> which uh, one of our medical maintenance people is, um, you can get it back functioning. Now this is from uh, 2014, actually, uh, slightly over two years ago, a previous um, projector had malfunctioned. And instead of ordering um, one of these items at um, about $12 plus uh, shipping, I decided to order two. And the spare capacitor then sat around for um, uh, nearly two years, well, over two years, until the next projector malfunctioned, and then uh, I just pulled out my capacitor, brought the projector and the capacitor to the medical maintenance person, and um, he soldered it in place, and I went back and picked it up um, a few days later, and the chart then is uh, once again functional. Uh, fortunately, in the system, we had... Um, uh, a spare projector which I was able to uh, place in the exam room to keep things uh, rolling while the repairs were taking place. So this is a Marco uh, projector which no longer works. It just sort of sits there and hums. So, um, the last time this happened, I'm going to turn this off. The last time this happened to a chart actually in the adjacent exam room at Kaiser Reston was a capacitor burned out. Now, this is listed as C4 at this point. And I have re re obtained the replacement capacitor, which apparently is what's supposed to go there. Now there's a tiny, tiny little tab of solder here, and a tiny tab of solder here, and all that has to be done apparently to replace this capacitor is melt the solder there, 
melt the solder there and pull off the capacitor, put in a new capacitor and re-solder it back without melting the circuit board. Well, that's beyond my skills at this point in life, ever. So I'm going to turn this back over to biomedical maintenance. But uh, apparently once that replacement part is put in, it's supposed to be fixed. Calibration is done by this knob and then huh. it's supposed to be a screw right there which appears to be severed to allow it to be um, calibrated properly. So this is the replacement part I obtained and the biomedical um, person um, successfully soldered in place without burning a hole through the circuit board which is a whole lot better than I would have done. And the end result is the chart works. And all that was replaced was this little capacitor. Now the other thing I did is when I found out that the screw had um, been severed from the uh, from the adjusting tube here, I I tried to remove it with an easy out screw extractor and, and really the screw just kept disintegrating and there wasn't enough left of it. So I made this crude one. It works. <laughs> It works, but, uh, you know, it's definitely not original equipment. But the way it was before, it, it didn't work. And so, um, under this situation, um, at least the, it can be recalibrated by loosening this and moving the, the tube in or out, as well as focusing or adjusting with this one as well. So, it's not real pretty, but it's back to full functioning. I was able to drill through the center of the screw, but when I used the Easy Out extractor, it just kept chewing up the metal and not removing it. This is a 632 size screw. Maybe I can find some nice looking knob for it. Probably not, but this will work. Much improved.